go ahead and give him the exceed. The tetanus shot is also in there. Okay. What? And get, yep, butte. What's the exceed for? Exceed is the antibiotic. Okay. Yep. And we can let his leg down. There should be syringes and stuff in there. No, I need a fixing gauge. Oh. I'll grab it. No, I got it. I got one in here. I just didn't Gently. want. I'm just going to take me out. Don't want to get rope burn. A lot of effort to get 18 gauge needle. You want 18 inch and a half of the boot? <laughs> 7 or 16 should be fine. It's better to get him in him in, in, in him while he's asleep though. <laughs> exactly. Wow. It's cold out so it Yeah, me. right. You had the accident It should be in the um oh it's in here. You just it. Yep, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so we have one horse done. He's one not gun. done until he gets up. Exactly. <laughs> but the testicles are done. Yes. I don't know, it's just me, but I could see him taking a little while to get up. He might. Um, he, we gave him a good whopping dose of drugs, so. And basically, what I like to recover them is kind of slow, because I'm a little... Do I take the towel off those eyes? Um, no, we can keep it on. I like, what I like to see is them moving their legs before they pick their head up. Okay. So, by keeping my knee sort of on his um, ear like this, like, they don't have their head, they can't really get up. So right. once his legs start moving, then I can give him the chance to have his head. I've actually had some episodes where a horse went down and they're struggling before yep. I wanted them to struggle. If you just put somebody yep. right on their heads, it exactly. stops them from getting up. Just sit right here, Ben. He's not really looking like he's gonna get up anytime soon, but... Got a little bit of a hematoma. I might wait until he's up and give it on the other side. Okay. You can sit on this, yeah. Yeah, so now we wait to relax. <laughs> so far, so good. So far, so good. Those um, are some big, what we call dead space. The testicle is bigger, like almost as big as my hand. Yes. So all that space that was once occupied by a testicle is now empty. Yep. Potential to fill up with fluid. Um, and it will, because that's what the body does. It puts stuff into this empty space. Mm -hmm. um, so we just keep an eye on him and um, keep him exercised and you can cold hose him if it's not too cold out just spray the hose on it to keep the swelling down in okay there. I had said earlier actually we'd started the, the video earlier and I'd said earlier that um, we were bringing him in the barn and that we wouldn't want to put um, Baron out with them because to let him recuperate yeah, yeah. but maybe he should maybe. go out because <laughs> it would keep around. him exercised yeah yeah um, and they're not gonna fight so he's not gonna fight with them but he right. might push them right right so yeah uh, maybe a couple days see how they're looking yeah if everything's looking good then um yeah that'll be a good good exercise to run around i should also mention the one other thing i didn't before they can be fertile up to 30 days yeah after. i knew that yeah. Yeah. but I don't, have, I don't have any mares that need to be right, bred true 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 <laughs> you will sometimes first couple of days especially today when he walks you'll hear like a squall leaking sound okay and that's just that empty space and yep. fluid just squashing yep. around in there. So for the next 24 hours, he'll stay in his stall, just come out for water. And that's yes. all he'll need for yeah. exercise. Yep. Yep. Okay. And then tomorrow afternoon, you get him in on his exercise program. Okay. And um, really that's just to make sure he's not bleeding because if he does have a bleed, you know, exercise is getting the blood pressure up is going to exacerbate it. So okay. that's the only reason we let them rest for that first 24 okay. hours. Now as far as feed, 
Probably just straight hay, not bothering with any grain. No, I would keep him his regular. He hasn't been having grain because he's been okay, up Okay, yeah, then that's fine. So just yeah, whatever his hay. regular deal is, wait until probably a couple hours until he's like fully awake in there, you know, because he's going to be kind of groggy for a little while. Once he's fully awake, he can have his, his grain or his whatever his hay. Okay. Now, was he the one who had the sarcoid removed? Yes. Or? Yes. All this surgery. And Petra said it was not coming back at all. That's yeah. good. When you first got them, had they been trained at all already, or no. you did all the training? They haven't had anything. That's cool. Have you done that before training? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I must say, these two, as the young ones, they, they're definitely the easiest ones oh, to really? train that I've ever had. That's awesome. Yeah. Have you had this breed before? No. Okay. No. Pretty well, Belgians is only... Yeah. Well, Lady, my, I got her... Well, no, she was she was uh, six months old when I got her. Oh, wow. But... Uh, of the colts that I've had and trained from the start, they were all Belgians. Yeah. I, I really like what I'm seeing in these colts, but I'm still a little bit concerned if they're going to really suit my needs when the time comes okay. to the type I, of, what type of caliber caliber horse that I like. You okay. know. I don't know. The drive or the yeah. You know, real strong pulling horses. I think it's it's going to be interesting to see how they act without their testicles. We call this brain surgery. Uh -huh. It does change uh -huh. them a lot. Yeah. It and does. it's, you know, for all different, you can't really predict, you know, how, how it's going to change their them. attitude, but yeah. sometimes I think it makes them more focused <laughs> because yeah. before they're like, yeah. you know, big emotions about things, yeah. but they seem pretty calm anyway. But they've been, they've been good even yeah. the way they've been, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, yep. I mean, they're, they're, kind of bred for a farm team plow horses type of thing and, right you know brenda's brenda loves them and she's hoping that that's exactly what they're being right. and I, i'll keep them just for that reason right. just to have a quiet team for somebody else for, to use in the fields yeah yeah that's awesome i was just telling him that they don't this is a long this is a long time to be yeah. down he's just enjoying the the nap i guess had a lumber customer so i had to run to the barn but earl's finally thinking about getting up he suddenly just decided that it might be time. <laughs> well, he looks a lot better like this than he yeah, did I laying like down. They, I love when they sit up like this because it's like, okay, blood get flowing. Yes, everywhere. yes. We're doing a castration out there. That's what was going on out there. He's just trying to wake up. Yeah, that one. I. He is up. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Tell her. Died. Died right as he got up. Aw. Boy. Let's get that beaut in. I think we got him standing up before the camera died. <laughs> no, the camera didn't die. I just thought it did because the screen went black. All right, you just go test the screen. Yeah. Must be that out, out, though. I would like to walk him back to his stall, so he's... You do want to? Yeah. Okay. He might be ready. I'm gonna get on his tail to give him a little balance. Okay. Okay. Just we'll go slow and steady. Okay, my good. You can hear that squashing, which is normal. <laughs> Just that air space in there. Okay. You can take a second if you need it. Okay. Are you worried about catching him? Well, I just, this is the time when things can go bad, you know? Right. So I guess I just don't want him moving around too much. Okay. I want him just stand there so that blood can get clotted since okay. he's dripping still. You just never know. I mean, would you tie him to something or? I can, but that way. I don't want to get caught on. I know, I, I know. But if he does, we can move the wagon. Come here. Yeah, I just don't want him trying to run around or I, I want that blood to clot that's dripping. I find it hard to believe he's going to do it running around. Well, you never know. I, yeah, I, I agree. Okay. I guess I've seen a lot of things with horses okay. after castrations. He leads excellent and he's yeah. not the only one to lead. He's the other... under the influence though. Yeah. <laughs> that ketamine can do weird things to your brain. Yeah. Come on, right, get a little closer. Come on. 
You can tell by his eyes he's a little dopey. Yeah. Come on, guy. Come on, buddy. A couple more steps. Yeah, the boy. Yeah, this is fine, I guess. And then actually, we can keep an eye on him. Yeah, you pray, yeah. Great. I'll just leave it like that so we can just pull that string out. Perfect. You can go get the next guy. Okay, so we have finished Duke. And Jen is just putting the uh, antibiotics, right? Yep. Into him. And another successful surgery thus far. I think they're doing, they have done a wonderful job. That seemed to go a lot faster. Did it? Yeah. It seemed like it did. I don't know why. My assistant had done one, so he knew. Right, that. right. It is helpful to have an assistant. Yes. Um, so I'll leave you some butte paste. Paste. Do you have any tabs? I got tablets. Oh, perfect. But I don't have a lot. I don't. Well, we'll see what you got because the tablets I can't get right now. They're not making them. Oh. It's really annoying. Really. The paste is frustrating to use. So. Never used it. Yeah. So if you got tablets, I'll see how much you have and then do those. Yeah. Well, how much would I need? I mean. I would do. But I don't we have. Do one gram twice a day, one tab twice a day, um, or probably up to two for them. For how long though? Probably at least three days. Yeah. I'll check. I'll leave you some pace if you don't have enough. Yeah. Good. 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 Good job. Just stay there for like a couple minutes and then you're gonna get up and then you're gonna do it. That ear tickling worked good. Yeah, I'll have to remember that. It bothers them a lot, yep. I didn't know that. <laughs> up he goes. I got no if you want to need to look at him, I think. Good. A bit of drippage, but it looks really good. Right. So we should work our way to the bar if he's going to walk? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we could do... Want to bring them both If you, He's the best one, and yeah. if you just pull the string, he'll... Yep. If you happen to get there before I do, he, he's in the further stall. Actually, Ben, you want to just get on his tail? Yeah, yeah. So Ben's just going to grab the tail just to help steady him. Come on, guys. Come Quit on. your fighting. Hey. Come on. 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 He might, he water. might want water, yeah. Yeah. Do you want some water, Ben? Or maybe not. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Duke. Come on, Duke. I was gonna get the sparring clean before we brought him in, but I guess I can do that afterwards. Okay. And, um, usually, if there were flies, I would say to do fly spray around the area, but. It's cool enough now, it's no it's flies. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm just looking at bleeding. Looks so there's still some drippage, but nothing too scary. But definitely keep an eye on them. Okay. And like I said, if, if you start seeing dripping coming pretty fast, just give me a call. Okay. Even if I don't come out, at least just let me know. Okay. And I'll not use sawdust and put the hay down for bedding. Yep. That would be good and in case keep them cleaned out. Um, you know, and like I said, their their recovery is they've got some big dead space in right. there, so definitely. Right. Um, okay. Okay. So we got the job done, and I just want to thank you guys so much for what you did, and I appreciate it so much. And so 
hopefully things will go well. Yep, yep, let us know if you have any issues. Okay, we will. Have a good one. We'll see ya. So hi everybody, this is Saturday night. Just giving an update on the Colts. Um, we had it, the operation done on Wednesday and now it's Saturday night. So Brenda is actually bringing the Colts in. Um, we have to give them butte one more time tonight for the last butte. They're doing great. Um, yesterday we let Baron back out with them so that he actually kind of keeps, helps pushes them around so they get a little bit more exercise. But they are doing great. They were way up there on the side hill pasture of ours. And uh, the Belgians here in the barnyard. I worked the Pertrons today. I just got home a little while ago. And uh, here comes Earl. Just a quick peek at his underside. He did have quite a lot of swelling. And that's gone down really nice. And that's, so that's great. Duke, which is the last one. Here comes Baron. Duke had basically uh, no issues whatsoever. There was no bleeding and he never swelled up. I put water, tried to put water on Earl because he was swelled up so bad, um, which did not go very well. So we didn't do that too much. But uh, Duke, okay. <laughs> you can't even see, but he's excellent. No, no problems at all. But let me just take a second to get these horses hitched where they belong and then we'll talk some more. So that's the end of this video and uh, we hope you enjoyed um, watching all that we did show on YouTube about the castration. And uh, we are so pleased with how, um, how Lila did and her team and the fact that these guys are recuperating just, just as, uh, as they should be. Everything looks great. So we'll give them a few weeks and then hopefully we can start doing some more training with these guys. So if you, like we said earlier, if, you, um, if you're a patron and if you would like to see the whole unedited edition with the whole process that uh, Lila did, um, that is available to you. Um, so uh, I guess that's it. You guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.